What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it. At this time, uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. Running backs. Yep. Give it to me. What do you got? Uh, it's Henry for, for one. Uh, yeah. Until he gets injured or, or hurt or whatever, it's Henry. Um, Kamara, Cook, Saquon, because I'm in, in expecting full health, mind you, and I happen right. to love him. And I think people are going to be – much like you said, I think people are going to be low on him and they're going to miss. And then this hurts my soul, but it's I'm just basing it on what I've seen. Chubb. Oh, I was going to put Chubb in mind too. Yeah. I respect that. I, I hate it because that. I bagged on people – He's at the stud. draft, he's a stud. He's a stud. And I hate it Good. because I, I derided people for picking him as part of my like psychology that I do in, in right. fantasy football, but he, he's legit. Good. He's legitimate. He's so good. He's so yeah. good. Uh, Henry, it has to be Kamara. I agree with you receiving, but on the ground and receiving, I don't know if there's a better guy that does no, it. you might be able to say he might be the most dangerous player in the league. Yeah. But they don't they're not full ways to use him. And that's why he's got to be down one spot. Right. Uh, I'm going to put Chubb at three. I, I, uh, I have no issue with it. Uh, I'm going to do Saquon at full health at four. And number five, I want to say do, 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 do I had a, a, a hot. Oh, Zeke. I'm going to go Zeke. I think Zeke at five. I, I Zeke is who I want to be good always. And showed his colors that if you don't have Dak, you're not there. If you don't have the guy, you're not there. And I think the other guys we talked about, yes, did does Breeze help Kamara? Sure, but Kamara's also able to get his when Taysom Hill's in there and when there's other things going on. I don't know. I'm with I, I like it. I we didn't talk about Christian McCaffrey because I think both of us are wondering like, is he gonna come back strong? Yeah, and he had he had this is not to say that he's not an electric player. I love Christian McCaffrey. Mm -hmm. He's super fun to watch. I like him a lot. Very versatile. Very yeah. versatile. And could easily be three, four on this list, no questions asked. Yeah. Um, but for me, I need to see Cook do this with more consistency. Sure. I know Henry can rush for 1,000-plus yards. I don't have that faith in, in Cook, especially with quarterback questions. I don't know what's going to happen to him next year. Um, I'm basing Saquon on a prayer, but he's one of the most electric players to come out of college football at the running back Fantastic. position, maybe I ever. Him. I love him. And I just think I've seen Zeke do it for so long. I've seen him yeah. do it for so many years, you know, and, and it was a poo poo year for them, but Dallas, their offensive line was falling apart. They didn't have a quarterback. I'm pretty sure I could have played quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys this year and it had equal amounts of success that every uh, that the rifle had it, thanks Andy, rifle that's my favorite li line of anything we've ever recorded is you went thanks rifle for rifling aj green over the middle of the field and ruining him <laughs> he broke him he broke one of the most talented wide receivers of the generation correct but yeah that's i i love nick chubb i love him in in Cleveland, I hate and that I, I think love him. He's... I will shock some people by going after him in leagues this year, and they'll be like, "But you said," and I'll be like, "Yeah, I did to fuck you up." <laughs> <laughs> and you're the idiot that's gonna trade him to me right now. <laughs> yeah, give me. <laughs> All right, wide receiver, tight end. This one's Our hard. Pass catchers. This, this one's, one's so weird tough. for me. So tough. I'm struggling here because. All right, to to say a one is really tough. But I gotta, I gotta go with my instincts. I trust my instincts in a lot of things, 
And this is this is a hot take, I suppose. Just but Devonte Adams is my one. Is a guy I would take over. I, I'm using fantasy as my as my That's metrics because if I have my pick and they're all on the board, who am I taking? It's Devonte Adams, Tyree Kill. Travis Kelsey, and I know that's back to back, and that's I love scary. It. I love that's it. scary. And then I go D Hop because while I don't trust Kyler, I trust D Hop can make every catch there is to make. Yeah, my five is tough. I have to go with um, shit. This is hard because I'm, I guess, Diggs. Because okay. of where Allen is, but I don't. I I know there's other guys that are going to creep up. There's like I said earlier, AJ Brown. What's going to happen with Calvin Ridley? Like there are other guys that are. Gonna Calvin Ridley up. could be. The yeah. Truth this season. He That's could. right. And and I wouldn't be shocked. Is Justin Jefferson going to have uh a, anything more than a rookie burn? But I I'm gonna I like where I'm at there with Devonte, Tyreek, Travis, um. Or what the hell was for? Oh, D Hop and Stefan Diggs. I I like the Kelsey pick is exactly where I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him as three, at three as well because he showed this year. I don't care where I line up. I'm gonna catch transcendent the fucking ball. except for the position in the Super Bowl. He did not but, catch anything. But that good. they bought. They all had it. They all had the dropsies. So I don't want to blame just him. But he's transcendent at that position. Uh, my number one is Tyree Kill. Yeah, I think he just changes the game vertically there's no one that can do what he does there's yeah. not anyone can talk as the, any amount of shit on him as uh, whatever w- you take his personal life out of it he's the best on paper you look at him he's a returner yeah. he's a wide receiver you could put him in the backfield you can run end arounds with him he's he's my number one i would you take said him it first. that phrase was it he's a game changer at the position he's like a steph curry moment where exactly. steph curry came into the nba and then the three was mat- mattered more Tyreek comes in and has a speed level and hands that, and route running, that it just wasn't there. He's out running guys and and able to catch in weird spaces while defenders are near him. He's like phasing through them. He's like living in the mul- in the so multiverse crazy. or something. I don't know what's going on with him. Gross. I have to put Devonta at two just because I don't think, I don't think there's anyone in the league that could do what he does with the lack of weapons around him for the period of time he's done it. Yeah. He's been a number one on that team for three or four years now. Yeah. And there has been poo-poo on. He's been in the league like a surprisingly, oh, this might do a dumb audio thing again. I hope not. He came in the league in 14. I'm going to quick X. Don't do it. He's been in the league <laughs> no. long. The only reason I knew that was listening to the McAfee show and hearing Aaron Rodgers talk about him. That's another reason he's my one of like, God, the way Aaron speaks about this guy there's nothing going to stop the two of them if they're on the same team together. They are close personal friends, and I, I love will be that keeping Devon. I I believe I have him in a keeper league, uh, him and Henry, and I'm pleased. Yeah, that's a lot. That's good stuff. Uh, my three is Kelsey, just the best tight end in the game right now, no questions asked. Um, my number four, Michael Thomas. I love oh me boy, some I Michael forgot Thomas. about him, and I don't feel bad about it. I uh, he's my number four. Gets his catches, it. doesn't drop. I respect you know, it. I, if he's unhappy in New Orleans, which there was little mumbles, mumbles that he was not, I would take him on my team every day. Every day. Uh, and my five is going to probably hurt me. I, Because I, I don't want to say D-Hop, but I do want to say D-Hop. You, do. you know what? I'm going to go off board. I'm going to go off board, and I'm going to say Juju. Wowzers. But where is he going to play, though? I don't think it matters because if Ben Roethlisberger is throwing ducks to him, I think he can catch balls from anybody and he That's can a, do a whole lot with, with not you, a lot. I, you might have to put these little fivers in the description text to get picked up. Cause that's a good one. That's a hot take. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm fully okay with being super wrong about that, but I just, no, no, think no, but that, you could also be the one, you know, the, on the shorter end of it of like, not a lot of guys thought he was going to be in that, Top five is rare space. Top 10 is oh, like yeah. very exciting. Anyone would be happy to be a top 10 at a position in any sport, right? Then you, you'd even be probably pleased to be top 25 when you're at a deep position like that, like wide receiver right. where you run four guys per team. But top five, that would be a boon for the Juju. I just think Juju, I, I think he did a lot with a little this year. 
And I think I think it was it was like a D hop situation. The reason D hop's not in my top five is because who the fuck else is Kyler gonna throw to? The ghost of Larry Fitzgerald's on one side. Stop it. He can still and, catch everything. Hey, I love Larry. I love Christian Larry. Kirk. He's not beating anybody in a foot race. No. Christian Kirk is. You could outrun Larry. No, that's stupid. You probably. No, can. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> we both know that. Um, I'm in the best, better shape between the two of us, and there's no way I could outrun Larry. I'm in bad shape. <laughs> I play hockey twice a week, so I'm in fine shape. I don't it's not believe I can first. run anymore. As a, <laughs> as a physical thing people do, I'm not sure I would get going. <laughs> it's just like... Um, I would look like my dad running, <laughs> and that's the full moment of failure for me. <laughs> the reason D-Hop's not in there for me is just because who the hell else is Kyler going to throw to? He doesn't have anybody else on that How team. How dare you discount Christian Kirk this way? I will continue to do it until he shows me anything that resembles He's respect. Our height, I think. No, I, I, I need to look. I need to look. That he up. might be. He, he might, might be. be. He's a burner, though. He's, he's a guy he's got that wishes, the potential to be very good. He does. He's a guy that wishes his name was Tyreek Hill. That's what correct. it was. He's that is correct. Oh, he's I'm very five eleven. He's taller. Oh, he's taller. Tyreek is short. Yes, Tyreek is. I think he's like five nine. I think he's in our range. They're, they're giving him 5'10", but I think he's we can. Probably 5'9". Five nine. He's 5'9". Five nine. He's 5'9". <laughs> um, but yeah, I just put Juju in there because Ben Roethlisberger is not a good quarterback. Kyler, I think, is a better quarterback now than Ben is. Not to Back. say that I think he's better overall than Ben no. was, yeah. but I think Kyler is better right now than No, you're ben. talking about the right now. You're talking about 21. We're, we're in a year Let's not talk about what the guy did. Let's talk about what he's going to do. Kyler if, greater than Ben. I think if Juju goes to a team with a with a quarterback that is under the age of 57 and hasn't sexually assaulted 14 women, then I think he's in a good spot. I think ben, he's... Ben's history is rough. It's not great. It's not great. Um, him and Dwayne Haskins can, can exchange Oh, they're going to party, I think. Oh, no. Ben <laughs> found no, Jesus. Ben's, Ben's a Jesus man now. He's not going to do that. Jesus. I um, he found Jesus. Uh coincidentally at the same time he was never mind anyway um <laughs> that's my that's my five i like juju in the top five i could be right i could be wrong we'll see what i happens. really want you to ask splain the same ones because his are going to be dumb <laughs> he's gonna take fired already yeah i won't even i won't I... give him time to prep either i'll put him on it like i put you on yeah i'll just be like say it just yeah i want to know and i want to i i want to compare and and just destroy him over it if he because because he's always wrong but like <laughs> always every time well i wish we had the time to go back and track things he said because he maybe he got one thing right but probably not <laughs> probably not because he's fucking stupid <laughs> no he's not stupid he's just wrong <laughs> just, no his, and oh wait and his opinions are dumb <laughs> and his We love you, Mike. We love you. I do. I I want to do one where it's the three of us again. Yes. Just so we'll I get we'll get it set up for this week. I'm excited. I, I will. I'm gonna do it. 